Josh. Hey, what's going on here? We are on a little adventure today. Yeah? Yes. We're gonna go somewhere. So, go somewhere, do something? Yeah, so it's cold. It's a little windy and cold, so hopefully it's not too much wind noise, but let me show, it's going, show you what's going on. Since you've last seen this vehicle, it has like uh, three quarters of a mile more. So let's <laughs> take a look at it. <laughs> yeah. We just have to dig, you know. That's what we do. Anyway, look at that. Wow, oh, man, look at that pumper. Is that cool or what? Look at those seats. Seats, pumper, but we're fixing to, we're fixing to make a bigger change. Major yeah. dressing change. And that's this guy right here. Right here. This guy's gonna go away today because uh, Danny bought something that's under here. We'll show you in a minute. All right? Let's go, let's do this. So we already ran into our first snafu, right? Yes. And what is that? You forgot to remind me to get bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, did I not ask you? I, I whatever. Take that $20 worth of bolts back then. I forgot to remind him to get bolts for his cage. So here's the thing, right? Oh man, this is a heavy little bag, believe it or not. This, see this? Okay, so the cage, Oh, uh, that's cool how they notch it for half of the tubing to fit in there. Some of the tubing's actually notched too. Yeah, oh yeah. It should all be notched. We'll find out. Yeah, if it's not, <laughs> that's a nightmare. Anyway, so here's this bag, right? And these big, for anyone that's done this, you already know the drill, but you know the drill and the deal. But basically, these are the back plates, the tube tubing for the cage, for the rear, uh, what would it be? Uh, B pillars, I don't know, whatever you call them. Anyway, the back the back bars that go down to the car, um, they weld to this plate. This plate bolts to the car after we sawzall the hell out of this brand new car with only like 10 miles on. So anyway, we're, we're going to need some bolts. See those bolt holes? We're gonna need some bolts to bolt this thing in place. We have some round ones too that are probably for the front. So we're gonna need like, well, minimum we're gonna need two per plate to hold it in place unless we want to get all that are needed we'll see what happens let's go in here and do this thing I hear a car running. What's going down? What is going on over here? What's going down? Start disassembly. 
For why? To put a we name. already talked about that. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm kidding. I don't know. All right, so we're going to take this thing apart. I'll set up a camera. We'll get some time lapse. Uh, we're going to pull the old cage off. We'll start there, right? Yes. All right. stuff out on own. <laughs> right? So watch, uh, let's take a look. We got, we pulled this, can see that piece in there? Uh, you know, that's what goes right here. So we got it completely removed. That actually gives us com complete access to what we need right here. This front plate. Uh, we just need to get, well, we gotta drill these. I can't believe you've been taking all that stuff for no We do want this out of the way so we don't weld it and stuff. Uh, also, we'll, we'll be hacking this off. Any of you that have done this or have seen it done, you know the drill. You know the deal. You know the thing. Chop that, sand it, grind it smooth, clean it, weld plate to it. I mean, bolt. We're gonna bolt plate to it probably. I don't. I don't know if Danny wants to permanently weld this on, but we're gonna bolt plate, weld things, do things. Right now, I need to take this loose. Look at that. I need to get the gas nozzle off so I can get this side off like we did that side, that, that. That's what we gotta do. So we gotta do that right here. And we have to get the gas nozzle out of the way to make that happen. So I'm gonna do that. I think we're still time lapsing right here. We're still time lapsing. Should we uh, put this on front end Friday? <laughs> hey, there you go. We're gonna start it on front end Friday right now. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone. Ready? So what's going on, man? We did it. We're halfway, not there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, but we still got all this plastic to do with, which is we got this one fixed. seems more difficult than anything. I feel like we took it a long way apart, but that's okay. We'd rather do that than fight with it, right? Yeah, we can take this apart. And this one yeah. Get it out of the way. yeah, if we take that out of the way, it's all easy money from there. We just got to get it, you know. You have to turn the drill at the right way. Before I get a comment on the channel. So drooping. And spinning the drill. Said to on my forehead instead of on my head. And spinning the drill at the right way. Say it looks that's different. That's a nice, that's a nice one. Wait, wait, does that actually say Sazo on it? No, yeah. So, is Milwaukee the one that branded Sazo? That's a good question because I've had people give me crap for calling reciprocating Sazo Sazos. I'm sure somebody out there will know and can let us know. Well, it says Sazo right on it. That's why I think so. Unless this, this is copyright infringement. He's cutting his car into pieces. That's uh, kind of awesome. All right. Did you already cut through the back? No. Say, 
don't cut you. Why don't you do this now? Cut down, down that way. Those are out of your way. I'm just saying, you don't have to. You know, this could be on time left, and you could be helping me with the other saw on the other side. Did we bring two saws? Yeah, you did. Except that I don't want to hack that much on your car. You know, as much work as we've done together, I would consider this like our car. So, you know. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Especially when it comes to needing something done on it, right? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm surprised at how little it took to make that happen. I mean, it was a, it was work, but it wasn't a ton of work for you. It was nothing for me. it was zero work for me. So my arms getting this camera is heavier than you would imagine. I know. I've had to use it on quite a few occasions. I know. You know this. I didn't mean you would imagine. Like you, the audience would imagine. We are getting closer. We're getting coming closer. in. We're going in. Danny's going in for the final cut. Uh, this one's a little more tricky because of the seat pushing against all everything over here. Oh, uh, because he didn't take the seat out like he was supposed to. Well, I told you, I asked you to take it out while I was doing the other side. Oh. Uh. You said, no, I gotta film. That's right. So, anyway, moving right around. I can edit that part right out. So, we, we did all the things. We put the jacks in, jacks to support it. Uh, we put the jacks in and made sure that these came back to uh, their original uh, locations. Jack on both sides, support the middle of the car. So we're not getting a bunch of flex on the on the chassis of the car while we cut the roll cage off and put a new one on. Right? Okay. Well, eventually we're gonna have to help that jack off. Then just take it off. Help the jack off. toys for that. Brought, bought, brought. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Look at us. So basically we just have to, you know, clean that plus, put the plate on it that's going to go on it, and uh, yeah, that's what's next. That's what's for dinner. Okay, oh, that's cool. This one does go all the way to the back. It has the bolt holes right there. See them? Oh, yeah. Look at that paper. Look at that paper. So that little, see that section right there? That back section is where the, um... Look at all this notch and everything. Look, reservoirs look, look, mount. Look, look, look at all this. Uh, yeah, this is, what's well, all laser cut. CNC, laser cut. Robot bent. <laughs> is this all of it? Is this the whole thing? This is the whole thing. All right, let's Care do this. the roof that's in there. So, well, let's just get as far as we can. We'll go from there. But damn, that looks cool. That does look cool. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, that's for scenery? All right, well, well, we'll come back. Look at this stuff again one more time. Look at it. Would you look at that? Blended and straight. Straight to the ground, right? <laughs> it just looks so clear and tasty. Made in oh, Santa Cruz. Yeah, and I like that. Look at that American flag. That's badass. Yeah, this is uh, this is made by You Blend It in Scotts Valley, California. Nice, yeah. You Blend It in Scotts Valley, California. Uh, and where do they sell it? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll try to get a little bit more information if we can. If not, uh, probably Google it, right? Yeah. All right. So what we need to do right now is throw some paint on this guy. Um, and that's the last one. I think I cleaned it up already. 
Uh, I cleaned up these plates. Those are the pl plates. As soon as we have paint on those, we're going to bolt these down. And uh, probably wet paint or not, we're going to bolt those down and start putting this thing together, right? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're done. Look at it. <laughs> right? I mean, really, you think about it, that's the basic shape of the cage. Right there. This one's leaning out a little bit, but it should be fine. Just don't land on that side, and you're good. I can show you guys, but I can't look. Nice. Dropping it in place. Yeah, it's not like you know what you're doing. We're dropping it in Dropping place. Well. All right. All right. Scott's getting ready to lay down some dimes. Well, or some no, more. I'm going to tack a whole bunch of shit together first. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound good on, on camera, though. Oh, well. It's looking good. It wouldn't be looking good if I did it. But it's good. Okay, we're on the final stretch. Scott's is, Scott's Scott's uh, picking off dimes, uh, <laughs> laying down dimes. They're pesos. He's, he's laying getting, down pesos. He's picking up some dime bags. Pesos. Something's happening with welding. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it's quite a bit of work, but it came out good, right? Yeah. It's Almost cool. done. We just gotta get it powder coated. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got some odds and ends. We need to weld on a few more tabs for the right. roof, whatnot. Uh, we're gonna do that in the dandy garage, just because that's my level of welding. Uh, <laughs> and uh, then once that's all done, we'll put the roof on, we'll, you know, We'll test fit everything, right? And then yep. off the powder coat, it will go at some point after that. But man, it looks good. Look at that. That's a good looking cage. It's pretty uh, impressive what you can get for the amount of money that that cost if you're willing to put in a little bit of work. And it wasn't really that hard to do. It's, I mean, the skill level is not like over the top. You don't need to be a fab fabricator. I mean, you need to be a welder. Somebody does, but. It was nice. It had all the little tabs that everything slid in and yeah. popped up. So here's what's the deal. If you've done this before and you know a better way, yeah, it's too late by the time <laughs> you see this video. So what we're going to do... It's too late 